My name is Julian Gadouri, I'm 16 years old, and I'm the young student who has the hypothesis that the Mayan put their cities according to the star, which allowed me the discovery of a lost Mayan cities. Let me summarize my story. Okay, today I will, I'm here to explain my two projects that conduct me over three years of research. The first one, Born from the Sky, in 2000. Uh, 2014, and my second one, Discovery from the Space, in 2016. In 2012, I have heard of the Mayan civilization, mainly due to the end of their calendar that just indicated the end of a cycle of 5,126 years. I started to find out about the Mayan civilization when I realized they were genius in various files, such as writing glyph on the stone, writing manuscript as it shows in the different codex. They were widely recognized for time studying with their two main calendar. They were also good mathematicians. They were in on the base 20 and they were the first civilization to use the zero. They may also have distinguished themselves uh, with their architecture that they gave to their pyramid. And finally, the most important point in my project, the astronomy. I found that the Mayan were watching, uh, was watching the star, so I wonder why they were watching them when I had the idea to associate a star to every major Mayan city. To validate my hypothesis, I structure my research in three parts. First, I locate and identify in Google Earth the different uh, cities with large pyramids. Second, I draw transparent sheet the different constellations that the Maya can see from their territory between at 13 north and 22 north, starting with circumpolar constellation of the northern hemisphere. And third, I compare the shape and the angle of the constellation with the geographical position of the Mayan city. This picture that you can see was the starting point in my project. Draw in page 33 of the Madrid Codex, the Mayan sky watcher revealed me some information on no by science. Uh, around us, this astronomer, we can see 23 separate group of star, uh, 23 group of dots, sorry, and if each dot is a star, a group of stars is a constellation. So let me uh, explain you the evidence of my discovery, uh, showing you some constellation. The first one is Cassiopeia, which is the W shape that you can see here with the, the star, and the other one with the Mayan cities. The main star, the Alpha, is Shizir, just here, at the same place of uh, Mayapan, the last Mayan city, uh, the last Mayan capital, uh, yes. The overall form between the imitation and the real constellation is good at 97.2%. The second one is the dragon. The main star, the Alpha, is Tsubain. It was the polar star when the Mayan civilization comes out, and it's at the same place of El Tigre. The overall form is good at 99.5%. Now we look at the Ursa Minor, or the Little Dipper. The main star, the Alpha, is Polaris A. It's the actual polar star, and it was the polar star when the Mayan civilization went as his apogee and it's at the same place of Bika. And your overall form is good at 98.5%. Now we see the Ursa Major. The, uh, the imitation comparison with the real constellation is good at 93%. The main star, the Alpha, is Dubai, at the same place of Tsika, the largest Mayan city that count at its apogee, around 100,000 people. Another important city in this constellation is Palenque, uh, that have a particular architecture due to the King Pacquiao, and it's represented by the stars of Aliot, the second brightest star in this constellation. Now we see the Lyra. The main star is Vega. It's the fifth brightest star of the sky that is also represented by Tsika, and the overall form is good at 97.5%. Now we look at the sinus. The main star, the Alpha, is Denet, that is 300,000 times brighter than our sun. And it's at the same place of Elbo. This city was destroyed to make a modern way for our modern cities. And the overall form is good at 98.6%. And now we see Pegasus. It has 
two main stars, uh, Syrah from Andromeda and Merkav from Pegasus, that is represented in order by the cities of Caracol and Caminal Juyu. The imitation in comparison with the real constellation is good at 96.7%. And the last constellation, it's the Pleiad. It was important for the Mayan farmer because, in fact, when it appeared in the night sky, it was the time to sow, and where it disappeared, it was the time to harvest. The main star, the Alpha, is Alcyon, that is uh, the same place of Caillou, and the overall form is good at 99.9%. Okay, according to the Maya GIS project, uh, the 16 most important Mayan cities are all represented in my project. The 149 rank second, 88 are represent or 60% of them. Okay. Of the 16 largest cities, 14 are represented in the four brightest star represented by the Mayan civilization. The first one is Ursa Major, with the cities of Kamal Kalko, Palenque, Piedras Negras, and Tikal. The second one is the Little Dipper, or the Ursa Minor, with Calacmul, Nakbe, Sorbi, Tikal, and Caracol. The third one is the Pegasus Square, with Caracol, Copan, Yashna, and Caminal, Juyu. And the last one, the Boots, is Uxmal, Izamal, Chichen Itza, and Koba. I also noted that the Mayan have put their cities in order to be classified according to the number of stars that the city can represent. Example, at Tika, the largest Mayan city, it's five stars that is represent. At Chichen Itza, another really important city, it's four stars. Koba, it's three. Koba, is two. In 2014, I saw my research in Quebec Science Fair and at the International Symposium on Remote Sensing, or IGARS. My research let me find a geoglyph of 325,000 square kilometers formed by an alignment of 117 Mayan city based on 22 constellations. But I'm still missing a 23rd constellation, and that's my second research. To find this 23rd constellation, I base my research on a Mayan mite, the mite of the tree earth stone, and according to the Mayan mythology, the gods have filled three earth stones in the center of the Mayan territory, aligned with the triangle from by, the, by the three star Antak, Saif, and Riel from the Orion constellation. And this myth was confirmed by Linda Shell, a specialist of the, the Mayan civilization in, uh, in the, at the universities of Texas at Austin. So I locate the center of the Mayan territory, uh, where we can see uh, the red dot. After, I see close two important Mayan cities, Calakmul and, Mi and Mirador, but it has a missing cities. And I locate the hypothetical position of these cities, where we, it's, uh, where we have the red dot. And also, the Canadian Space Agency uh, helped me in my project because they gave me radar acquisition on my research site. So, and on the 10 and 12 September 2014, the Canadian Space Agency with the Radar Sat 2 satellite took the first picture of my Mayan site, and in November, I was able to analyze those pictures. But the vegetation was too dense at this place, so I didn't see any non-natural structure. The radar image from the Japanese Space Agency uh, was uh, better, as, and it allowed me to see a circle with three points in the middle and two lines around this circle. And two archaeologi archaeologists from the ENAH, or the National Institute of Anthropology and History of Mexico, have come for me that it could be a circular fan surrounding three pyramids, and the two lines can be stairway to access the, them. The Canadian Space Agency has provided me a total of eight radar acquisitions in, uh, in this area that allow me to progress in my research. On one of those pictures, we can see a structure of two square kilometers that appears to look like a structure, a platform, sorry, that supports pyramid like the one at El Mirador, who support the, the huge pyramid, La Denta. On this picture that came from the web by the Econos 2 satellite, it was taken on 17 January 2006, eight months after a big fire that burned a part 
of vegetation on the Yucatan Peninsula, we can see several structures to be of Mayan origin, and also we can see lines that go to crossroad to uh, main, main Square. I love this picture. Here we can see an alignment done with three pyramids in the gray square, and they are on a west and east axis, and two other uh, uh, structure in the circle, the, uh, the one in green, the one in red with, the one in the green circle, we can see they are on a north and south axis. After see this chart, we conclude that Ka'ak Chi, the name that I give to this pyramid, could be one of the largest pyramid no today. Thank you for listening. Uh, gracias. Merci beaucoup. <laughs>